your coins. And I always hope to encourage you all to paint, create something for your home, okay? Because you can do all these things, right? You can, I promise. All right, so what I'm gonna do today, y'all, um, I have found, now, have y'all ever seen these ceiling medallions? I mean, look at that. Look how pretty these are. I think this was a nine inch. Okay, so I thought, well, this is really pretty. I can do something with this. So I also have just an old ugly picture. Okay, so if you find anything at the thrift store, okay, look, even if it's flat, okay, I'm gonna make this pretty. All right, so you know that, let's go down to the tape, okay. All right, so you know that I love uh, Restoration Academy, I mean Academy, y'all. <laughs> That's a school I used to tutor, uh, where I used to go and tutor. Um, and so I always say Restoration Academy, but um, it's Restoration Hardware, <laughs> the store. All right, so I've got, um, so it's just an old picture. I've got this and I've got, um, I'll show you as we go. And I got some transfers. So, if you didn't know, I'm using um, DIY paint, of course, which is a clay-based paint, okay? And it just pretty much covers everything. Um, I could have done this ahead of time, but I wanted y'all to see how I am painting right over um, an old picture. Now, you've seen me paint on glass before. I have a really big piece that I still haven't finished. Okay, now it's going to take, uh, it's going to take a couple of coats because I like to do it then. Let's go ahead and get this painted. So this particular piece that I'm doing, I've seen some, um, in the restoration hardware, uh, and it's just, you know how it's a lot of just monochromatic stuff, a lot of white, grays. Um, and so I've seen something similar and I thought, well, I think I can uh, replicate that somewhat. And it will be just, you know, not expensive at all versus probably a hundred bucks for a picture. But you could do like um, sets of them. So as soon as I get through, I'll show you. Because usually, you know, you can have one hanging, but a lot of times they'll just have like two or three together. And I've ordered some more, uh, some larger one of these, some of these medallions, um, just to go on larger pieces. So this is also, this is like a, uh, what size is this? I would probably get a 12 by 12. You could just do it on a little canvas as well. Now let me dry this a little bit. So let me add the second coat. Now a lot of times, this is a, um, this is a really neat color. It's one of the whites, but it has a really gray undertone. So I thought that would be really pretty. You know, Restoration Hardware does have a lot of that gray undertone with the dark woods and a lot of white. All right, so I'm using Tight Bond Quick and Thick Glue. I don't know if I showed y'all that. Tight Bond Quick and Thick Glue. It, uh, it has a really nice hold. It dries clear. I need to put more on there. You can't really be stingy with it though. So I'm gonna glue this right down. All right, let me get it good on these little edges. So, let me see where the center is. Make sure I get it pretty close. All right. Okay. And now, now I'm going to paint the whole thing. 
okay? So let's just see how, how it does. I've not painted them. I've not used these. And we're gonna put a transfer right in the middle. Now there are several that really look restoration hardware-ish. That looks good. I like how that looks. Alright, so that's what we have so far. Uh, maybe we'll dry it. I'll go ahead. I don't even know if I want to wax it. Let me let me dry it and then I'll show you what I want to do. This is out of the brocante as well. Let me show you the brocante transfer. Um, it has all kind of stuff in here. Oh, just it's a hot podge of like flea market type looks, which I love. So I thought. This would look really good in there, or this. Let me just show you some of them. I love how, you know, I just wanted something very restoration hardware-ish, is what I'm thinking. So that would go pretty, that would look really neat in there. It's very subtle, because that is the, it's just the little um, clock. This looks even more. This, isn't that cool? That's so pretty, I love it. I think it would look just awesome right there. All right, so I'm gonna try. Now you know, you saw how I just painted this. It's got three coats of paint, it's not sealed, and I'm worried this isn't gonna stick. Let me try it just a little bit more. Let's try it, y'all. Where'd it go? Did I just blow it off? Oh, my word. <laughs> oh, my God. You don't want that to happen, especially if on your art floor. With a bunch of... Mm. All right, let's just try this. Okay, I want to make sure I'm in the center, so I'm just going to kind of center it down with this. All right. Normally, you need to seal it... Um, or not use so much paint. This is three layers of paint. But I wanted y'all to see this. I think I'm in love with this little thing. All right, let me try to um, pick it up a little bit. See if it's coming off. because when you dark wax, um, that's gonna stick down in there, and then you're gonna wipe the top part off. All right, so this is, again, I'm just using this little brush. I'm gonna dab in the dark. This is DIY dark wax. And this, a lot of people freak out when they get the dark wax out. Um, it's a little scary because you think, oh my gosh, I'm ruining it. You're not, okay, because we're gonna wipe it off. All right, so look, I'm just gonna start right, uh, right here at the top. All right, 
So I'm taking a soft uh, t-shirt or um, a pillowcase, something like that. Now I'm just gonna wipe the top off. Now if you want it kind of white, you're gonna have to really um, change your rag a lot. dark wax. See how it brings out all those details? Isn't that pretty? Gosh, I just love that. You can uh, wipe off as much as you want. If you wipe off too much, you can add more. a little bit. I don't want it all off. All right. Let's see. Look at that. Is that not pretty? I think I just want to do the whole thing now. So a flat area. Look, let me just show you. Let me just do this side. This side do better. But you do the same thing for a flat area. Just, you know, you have no details, but it's okay. You saw me do it like that, or I'm trying to say like that. sits in the sides of the frame right there. All right, so I'm really loving that, y'all. So I'm going to, I'll just finish waxing it. Let me just hold it up this way so you can kind of tell the difference, okay, from the wax and not waxed, right? Again, this is the tarnished pearl, and if you didn't want to dark wax, you just wanted the clear wax. It, uh, well, I wiped a lot of that off, but let's just see. So, see, there's the difference. So, that's what the tarnished pearl actually comes out looking like. It'll be a little bit lighter than that. It'll be somewhere in between this and that um, if you didn't want to add some of the dark. Pretty much like this, right? But, again, here is the medallion 
all the detail, and then that little transfer in the middle. That can so easy peasy. If you have any old art laying around that you no longer are fond of, <laughs> just paint it. Just paint it. Thank you so much. Have a great evening, and I will see you real soon. Okay.